a and b are integers such that a cubed equal to b squared plus 1, b cubed equal to a squared plus 1. We want to find the value of a and b. When we have similar equation like this, you should subtract. Left hand side will be a cubed minus b cubed. The right hand side will be b squared minus a squared. So we should use two important identities. And if you want for n, I can tell you. But for two, b squared minus a squared is b minus a, b plus a, b cubed minus a cubed in general. Or here, for example, a cubed minus b cubed. You should memorize for any a and b in real numbers. In any numbers also complex, you can use this. A minus B, this is identity. A squared plus AB plus B squared. Okay, so if I use this, let me call this one, this one first, this one second, this one third, this one fourth. If we use three and four, so A minus B, because it is uh, from four, I calculate this. A squared plus AB plus B squared equal to b minus a times b plus a. Okay, so now I will see a minus b, b minus a, I can divide. So if it is not zero, I can divide. So case one, if a minus b equal to zero, a equal to b. The first equation will be a cubed equal to a squared plus one. And I can say, and we know there are integers, so I take a squared to left hand side, negative a squared 1, so it will be a squared a minus 1 equal to 1. So because it is 1, it should be 1, 1, or negative 1, negative 1. So if you can say first 1, 1, 1, if a squared is 1, a is 1 or negative 1. So a minus 1, when a minus 1 is 1, a will be 2 and contradiction. a squared is not 1, it's 4 from this one. A minus 1 is negative 1, so A is 0. So A squared cannot be negative 1. Again, contradiction. So we've reached contradiction for this case now. Let's consider second case. A minus B is not 0. So let's call this one 5. I use 5 and divide both sides by A minus B. So let's see what we have. If we divide by A minus B, A squared here will be A squared plus AB plus B squared. Right side, because we have b minus a and we divide by a minus b, so you should write negative b plus a. So we have negative b plus a. So we've reached a function, an equality, an equation with degree 2. So let me write it in next page. a squared plus ab plus b squared equal to negative b plus a. No. We can consider it as a quadratic function, quadratic formula in terms of quadratic equation in terms of A or B. And use the quadratic formula. One way is this. Let's see, can we use another way? For example, we have A. I, I prefer to use quadratic formula. So I take all things to right hand side. A squared plus AB plus B squared plus B plus A equal to zero. Now, if I consider a quadratic function in terms of A, a squared plus A coefficient is what? B plus 1 plus B squared plus B equal to 0. Now, I want to use quadratic function. It is what? It is when you have AX squared plus BX plus C equal to 0. So X will be negative B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So if I use it here, A, here instead of X, we have A. A will be negative B plus 1 plus minus square root of B plus 1 squared minus 4AC, which will be B squared plus B, all over 2A, which is 2 times 1. So inside the square root is what? B plus 1 squared minus 4 times B squared plus B. If we calculate, it will be b squared. I know that x plus y squared is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So I can say it is b squared plus 2b plus 1 minus 4b squared minus 4b. 
it will be negative 3b squared. It is what? It is inside the square root. They call it discriminant or delta. You're right. Your delta minus 3b squared minus 2b plus 1. So we know that it should be a perfect square. But one way is to work with this. It should be a perfect square. So you can calculate. Consider this. Let's also consider another thing. If I consider this part a star, I want to focus on a star. And so let's see, can we solve with identity? If we couldn't, yes, we solve with this. Here, a squared plus ab plus b squared equal plus b plus a equal to zero. Now I want to use identity. I know x plus, for example, y squared is x squared plus 2xy. Plus y squared. Also, you can replace x y with one. X plus one squared is x squared. It's two x plus one. If you see these things, we need to multiply it by two. Now you will see why. Two a squared. Two a b plus two b squared plus two b plus two a equal to zero. Now we consider a squared with one a squared with two a b with one b squared first one plus. The next one, a squared plus 2a. Now I consider 1 plus 1. Also, so b squared plus 2b plus 1 equal to 2. You add two ones to the left hand side, you add it to also right hand side. If we use these identities, it will be a plus b squared plus a plus 1 squared plus b plus 1 squared equal to 2. Now, because they are integers and they are perfect square, two of them should be one, one of them zero. So if we consider different cases, one, one, zero, one, zero, one, and the last one, zero, one, one. So from this part, b plus one is zero, but b is negative one. And because of this, a plus one is plus minus one, a plus one is plus minus 1. From this, a plus b also is plus minus 1. Because b is negative 1, so a minus 1 is plus minus 1. If you add by 1, a can be only 2 or 0. And this one, a plus 1 is this, so a can be subtract by 1, a can be 0 or negative 2. If you check these two things, the only possible way and common thing is a has to be 0. A has to be 0 and B should be negative 1. Now, let's check this case. A 0, B negative 1. A 0, B negative 1. Okay, it is not correct. Because if A 0, in here will be 0, B negative 1, will be 1 plus 1, 2. Okay, so first part, this part. It's not good. So the first case is impossible now. From this case, a plus 1 is 0. So a is negative 1. Because b plus 1 squared is 1, so b plus 1 is plus minus 1. Uh, look, we can, we can reach the same thing again. Um, if you continue, you will reach b equal to 0. And if you check b0, a negative 1, b0, a negative 1, left hand side negative 1, right hand side 1. Again, contrary. So oh, let's erase also this part. Impossible. Let's check the last. Now here, mm, a plus b is zero. A plus b is zero. Here, a plus one is squared one, so it is plus minus one. B plus one is plus minus one. From here, if you subtract by one, a will be zero or negative two. And here b will be 0 or negative. a plus b is 0, so the only possible case is 0, 0. So a equal to b equal to 0. Also, if you check this case, a 0, b 0, it will be 0, but this part is not 0. Also, we said a and b are not equal. So we don't have any answer for this problem. Let me write a homework for you. Try to solve, for example, a 4 equal to b squared plus 1 
p4 equal to a squared plus 1 and try to solve in a, b, r integers and comment your answers below this video. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thank you.